one final thing that I want to show you how to use and that's the scenes. Uh, they can be quite useful if you're streaming, uh, not so much if you're just recording your uh, like gaming footage or whatever. Website. Streaming, Why not do it yourself? Uh, it can be quite useful. With Wix, so you can create your I'm own professional. I'm just gonna go to the second scene here. As you can see, uh, it's so empty at the moment. So your, if I'm uh, having like gaming technical or difficulties website. or something, Why not do it yourself? Switch between the scenes so I can like uh, 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 black out the the stream. Recording so if I'm having like gaming technical difficulties website. or something, why not do it yourself? Switch between the scenes so I can like uh, 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 black out the the stream at the moment. Recording so if I'm having like gaming technical difficulties or something, why not do it yourself? Switch between the scenes so I can like black out the the stream at the moment. So if I'm having like gaming technical difficulties website. or something, why not do it yourself? Switch between the scenes so I can like black out the the stream at the moment. So if I'm having like gaming technical difficulties or something, why not do it yourself? Hey, what's going on, you guys? Bring your friends here. Today, I wanted to make a video to show those of you who had, who always wanted to stream but could not just because you did not have that good of an internet connection. So today, I'm going to show you how to get started as far as what settings you should put into Open Broadcaster software. Now, granted, I'm going to show you settings for only people who have a 1.5 upload or lower. So that being said. Um, how am I able to achieve this? Well, one is you have to have a pretty decent computer to compensate for the low upload that you have as far as the internet goes. And then my settings for my computer are an AMD FX8350 8-core processor, 4 gigahertz, 12 gigabytes RAM, 16-bit operating system, and a NVIDIA GTX 460 graphics card. So that being said, let's get into the uh, the settings on OBS in order to set it up so we can get everyone going. So go to settings, settings, and we'll just start from the top down. So go to encoding. You're going to put your quality balance at three, and then you're going to put your max bit rate at a thousand. And use custom buffer size is unchecked, so it should look pretty much exactly like this at the end. As far as your bitrate for your audio, I put it on 112. I don't really notice too much of a difference going from 112 and like 192 or 160 for the most part. Not really worth the bitrate in my opinion, but I just stick with 112. Going over to broadcast settings, 
course you want to go to live stream right now I'm using this as a file output so go to live stream and then choose the server that's obviously the best for you or the closest to you and then pretty much everything else is pretty much going to stay the same auto reconnect on what's up guys it's me Mario home slice 794 welcome to my YouTube channel today I'm going to show you how to get your best stream for your internet connection I'm going to show you how to get the correct uh, upload speed how to uh, apply that to your twitch uh, open broadcaster settings so let's get started first thing we want to do is we want to find out what our own our own internet upload speed is the correct way to do that is go to your favorite internet browser and don't go to other internet sites speed test go to this website I'm gonna leave the link in the description the link is test my okay. now the reason why I like this is because you can set how large you want your upload to be and the longer the longer it tests the better because it's gonna give you more of an accurate result have these checked and now here's the most important part right here your max bitrate now if you go in here and you put your max 5120k